What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with another episode of Inside the Network, where we show you exclusive conversations from inside of brandmannetwork.com, where we speak with artists, managers, and producers through specific conversations, specific situations that they're dealing with, right? So we can help them move and make progress along the way. A lot of dope guys who have made a lot of progress. It's only a limited amount, but this conversation right here is something that you need to listen to if you've ever been thinking and overthinking your promotional process and there's something a huge gem as a matter of fact that i have to speak on at the end that's going to change how you take advice and perceive strategies that you try to implement when it comes to your music so let's get into it it's the mat work <laughs> Um, so I've been like doing a lot of projects or in the works of a lot of projects and I kind of want to give my audience like an insight on the progress that I make and stuff like that. Like kind of like vlogging the journey or documenting it in a sense, but at the same time, I don't want to give out too much because it's like the music being created, like me recording the demos, the lyrics. I used to, back in the day, used to go live and write music and show people the process, but now I'm more, I don't know, self-conscious in a sense, and I don't want to sh show people that, but I'm trying to, like, show people something without giving out too much away where the song is, you know, it becomes repetitive or anything before it even comes out, in a sense. So basically, you're afraid of promoing yourself? Or giving too much away but 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 you gotta realize man you're you basically just defeated the purpose of what a lot of promo looks to do right like you're ba you basically just said i'm afraid of people hearing the song and memorizing the song and them not being able and when it comes out them already knowing it but I don't even know when it's like, from the looks of it, like I'm working on like three different songs at the same time. In the you don't know when. And that's just going to be an Easter egg for people who are your fans and actually watch that process and carry on throughout that process. Can I go? Can I? I, I yeah, go ahead. Uh, about the promoing early, um, Playboy Cardi, his um, Pissy Pamper song got leaked, right? And like for months and months. Like people are just listening to that song, listening to that song. When it actually came out, it's he still got like his same amount of traction. Uh, he still got like really good engagement with that song. Like people really like I still really fuck with that song, no matter how long it's been. So I wouldn't say be afraid to like promo yourself before it happens, even though you don't know you don't have a set deadline. There it is. Like it it doesn't have the effect that you think it is. A lot of times we over overanalyze that the, the biggest things that you get from a music industry standpoint where they really look at it as a negative thing is they don't have full control over all the assets the way it's going out which means they can't monetize it how they like to right but that's why i try to encourage artists to really consider where they're getting their information from or the perspective from and it doesn't mean it's coming from a wrong perspective but it's just like okay if this is what i'm hearing from this type of media and these type of artists why what do they care about well if they're working if they're with these labels labels they're measuring different things they're measuring i'm trying to get up the charts right they're measuring did we get the return on all the money we um we, we put out right now you know, you're more than likely measuring how many people actually listen to this song, like this song, and want to become my fan because of this song. You're thinking a lot less about that other stuff that comes from, oh, I can control where it's heard, how it's heard, and all that stuff. So you, you, your concerns about the, the leakage, or, well, it wouldn't be necessarily a leak, but like that promo, that super early promo is, is different because the consumption is going to be going to be similar especially at your level by the time you put it out and when you actually put energy about it it's, it's you're probably gonna have way more people here that never heard it before it's, it's not like you are playboy carter yet where people are just gonna find out you got a leak and then check it out so i wouldn't i wouldn't over concern myself about that and 
because it's a documentary type process um, that you're talking about. I'm going to hear the song. I'm going to hear pieces of the song, but, and so it's going to get me familiar with the song, but I'm not going to be pushing replay on your damn documentary just to get the little snippet again, again, and again. So it'll create the familiarity, but it's not going to likely tire people of the song. You get what I mean? Yeah. All right, so that's it for that video. Again, it's from brandmannetwork.com. A great conversation, and man, that one definitely actually went into some very specific details at some point. But again, sometimes we can't show those parts of videos because it's sensitive. We really get into artists' personal um, situations with their music, but there's a huge thing that I want to add or just elaborate on that we started to talk about in that video, and that's where you get your advice from, how you perceive how you implement advice again a lot of times you're hearing advice that isn't necessarily bad a lot of times we'll say oh that's bad advice we throw bad and good advice out there generally but oftentimes it's not bad and good it's subjective to what your actual goals are and your goal should be understanding the goal in mind of the person who's speaking right and what game are they playing and that's why i often try to separate the difference between an artist on level one and an artist on level 10. an independent artist and an artist who signed right or a music professional who's in the industry but because if they're playing a different game if they're measuring success by different key performance indicators their advice could definitely be true but it might not be what's best for you Right. It might not help you get to your specific goal because they're playing a different ball game. If my goal is to hit the charts, if my goal is to pay my investors back ASAP, if my goal is just right now super general to go viral and get as much attention as possible, all of those things lead towards different and specific actions. Even if we think about that marketing funnel, right? There's the awareness, the consideration, the conversion, and then the brand ambassador when we try to get people to really get deep into the word of mouth. Even in your own funnel at each phase of that, right? And what you're trying to do and accomplish, there's different advice that applies at all times, right? And then you consider your brand and all those other things at hand. It's hard to take just general advice, especially like on the channel. That's why we created brandmannetwork.com. So we can speak to artists about their specific situation, get context. You see how long some of these clips get and just them talking and then us talking back before the answer even comes because the context actually matters. We can only do so much by listening to general, general videos, but of course that's hard with time as well, where you can't just do that with a hundred thousand artists, right? It's, it's, it's impossible. It's, it's hard to do that with a thousand artists, right? So understand when you watch my videos, when you watch any videos out there, when you're looking at any general advice, particularly when it's not specific to you, it's your goal, right? To be able to take that information and take the pieces that apply for you in that moment and that's where most people get messed up though, not understanding what piece applies to them at one moment and what piece doesn't. Because I'll tell you this, a lot of artists, right, start to say, mm, this advice is getting old. I'm starting to hear this over and over again. Or, oh, you're not saying nothing new, right? I'll even see that about some of my videos, right? And the thing is, oftentimes why artists run into this is a lack of self-awareness because it's all perspective. When you're on level one, stuff will look and sound different than it does to level two. So some things might click with you immediately at that time, but when you get to level two, you might look at that exact same video in a completely different way and get a totally different thing from it. But you can't get or understand that because you just don't have the insight and perspective and the experience to relate to it that way. A perfect example is listening to maybe one of your favorite albums when you're 10 years old versus when you're 20 years old or watching a movie or a TV show when you're one age versus another age. And then another five years go by and then another five years goes by. You learn more stuff and now you start to, to, um, to register references that happened that you missed because you weren't aware of the reference even existing. 
that's why perspective is so valuable. All right. Yes. Whenever you're 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 stuck on that level and you're not taking action. And this is the part where I really say artists get stuck on is anybody stuck in a cycle, not taking action will never get to the part where they can actually see the situation differently. Right. So when you're actually listening to these videos, you get stuck of watching and um, you get stuck in the cycle of watching just for entertainment and forget to keep making action as an artist. You're going to start finding this struggle and you're going to start eventually feeling it. And artists I've seen start to give up and not even want to be artists anymore because they keep ramming their heads against the wall just by trying these hack short terms, never having a discipline to really play things out and make progress. And that lack of progress is 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 a uh, toxic or taxing at the very least. So, again, all that is to say is. Make sure you're putting this stuff to, to, to uh, work. Make sure you're implementing this, but bring it full circle. Make sure before you decide to implement or before you decide the quality of the advice that you're getting, make sure that the quality is judged on where you are and how you can implement it right now and shelve the rest of the advice because it's not that it's necessarily bad. It's just because you're not in a position to utilize it. And the last thing I'll say is, it's huge because I see a lot of artists also not sometimes register, or sometimes they don't register advice that doesn't apply to them or realize, hey man, you know, like there's this other stuff and it actually is quality, it's not fluff, you just don't get it because of where you are. There's this other side of things where sometimes artists get stuck trying to apply things that have nothing to do with where they are. Sometimes you're trying to apply advice too early without setting the foundation so you never get benefits. Even if you actually pull a little bit of it off, you can't be fruitful with it and it's not going to be sustainable because the foundation to capture it and to manage it and then build off of it isn't in place. There's a lot of things that I know or to know to do when it comes to marketing, but almost every single time when I start a new product or I start a new platform or I'm helping a new artist or helping a new business, I have to wait to get to the step where I apply some of those other things. Because if I'm building something sustainable, then it's like, man, I gotta build all this infrastructure. I wanna do this, oh man, that trend just happened. I could have capitalized off of it right now. It would have been so perfect. But at the same time, if I do it, it's not gonna, result to anything. It'll just be a waste of time because I know it'll put me in a similar situation of artists who become one hit wonders because they blow up, don't have the infrastructure in place to handle it, right? To convert fans, to capitalize and monetize off of fans. All those things are not in place. So sometimes uh, register the fact that some of this advice also, even if it sounds great, just isn't for you right now. Get yourself inspired by the fact that, hey, I want to get there when I can use that. Right. It's like Beyonce doing a surprise album. Some of these artists get surprised when they surprise albums have zero views because nobody cares. You didn't surprise anybody because nobody even knew about it. Right. Like there's small things that are powerful, but it's all based on the subjective place that you are. So. That's it. And again, this clip right here was brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself. These are the type of conversations that we have in the network for situations specific to you, whether it's sharing your Facebook ads on the screen because we're trying to get you to a concert and helping artists perform at concerts overseas, which we've done so many other aspects, getting artists signed, all these types of things. These are the type of conversations we have in the limited space. It will be closing at some point. That'll be announced soon. I'll go deeper into that later. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Ow.